Hey, it's Rick here, and this is The Lawman. It is for the iPod Touch 5th generation, and it is a two-part case, as I'll show you in just a moment here. I've got it in yellow and black, as you're looking at it right here. I also have it in a neon green, or almost like a lime green and black color as well. And then, of course, I'm going to demo it for you here in the black and gray. Now, just a kind of a note here about this case. If you plan on using the loop feature of your iPod Touch 5th generation, you're not going to be able to do it with this case. It doesn't support that feature, so just be aware of that. Now, as I mentioned, it is a two-part case. This part, which is the main portion of the case, is a TPU material, and it's going to provide a great level of protection moderate to even a little bit above moderate level of drop protection along with great scratch protection while holding its shape as well so you don't have to worry about it losing shape over time the second portion of this case is the snap-on back that is a harder plastic and i'll show you how this all works together in just a moment here your iPod Touch, you're going to want to install this case with the button side first, so line those buttons up and put one corner in just like that and snap the other end in just like you saw me doing there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that shell and it just fits right on top of the case like this and presses down, making sure that every corner has snapped into place, and it has, and that's all there is to it. Now, I will mention if you've got a screen protector, and I took the screen protector I had off of this one, uh, but I can vouch and say this does not create issues. So the case on this iPod Touch 5th generation with the screen protector will not lift it, it won't bubble it, it won't create issues like that. I haven't had any problems with that whatsoever. Now, if you've got a very thick screen protector, something like a glass screen protector, I don't know how that's going to work. I can't test that. So. Now take a look at this case, right where my thumb is, you can see that it does come up above the screen. It doesn't rest on it, but it comes above it so that you get a really nice level of lay on the table design. And what I mean by that, if you put this face down on a table or a flat surface, the screen of your iPod Touch is not gonna touch that surface, the case will. So it provides great level of protection there. The other thing I wanna call out is this area right down here. In a lot of cases like this, this area tends to be droopy. You don't have to worry about it on this one. It actually stays in shape. It doesn't droop down. It doesn't create issues. You can pull it down, uh, but it really takes some effort. And remember, part of that is probably because it's got this shell to help reinforce it. So that works out really nice. Down below, you can see speaker, your lightning port, your headphone jack. It is all exposed. You shouldn't have issues with oversized headphone jacks or anything like that. Along the back side here, yes, it is going to show some fingerprints in this plastic area, but with a microfiber wipe, those actually come off pretty easily, so I don't have much of an issue with that at all. You can see on the area that's that TPU material, it kind of has this design that lends itself really well in the hand because it gives a good level of grip when you're holding this case, and it just feels right. You're also going to notice this. There's some poetic branding right here, but this is a kickstand, and when you open that up, just like that, you can see first off, it's not exposed. You get the TPU material here, so that's nice, but you also get a nice stand mechanism in this case, so that's what that is going to look like. Close it up, and that's all there is to it. Your camera cutout, your mic, and your LED flash, plenty of room here. Because it is lined in black, there's no issue with a whiteout or a washout in your photos or your videos or anything like that. This end of the case, you can see completely enclosed. Your buttons are closed up, as are on the top. You will see a little bit of a seam here, so if you're looking for an ultra clean look, you're gonna notice that. And these buttons, while they are easy to press, uh, they're not super clicky. So I would have liked to have seen these buttons be a little bit more clicky than what they are. Uh, you can certainly use them, and it's not an issue. Uh, but again, for that super tactile feeling, you don't get so much of that with this. And then along this side, it is all enclosed as well. So that is the Poetic Lawman. Uh, it's also an easy case to remove. You just basically take this exterior shell off and then pop the rest of the case off and it comes right off. So uh, very protective. Again, this thing's going to provide a moderate level of drop protection. I'd go and probably say even a little bit more than moderate level uh, because of the design of this case. Uh, but I'm gonna give the Poetic Lawman 
a four out of five, as long as you don't need to use the loop and as long as you don't care too much about that clicky feel of those buttons, it's actually a really good case. So uh, if you guys have questions, comments, or feedback about this case or anything as usual, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.